Hi, welcome back to the channel. So, from the title of this uh, video, you know doubt what it's about. So, yes, I did sell my PS5 and bought a Steam Deck. So, before you all start turning off in your drove, though, hit me in the comments below. The reason I did that was I own a Series X and I also own an, owned a PS5. Um, they're very similar. The PS5 has probably better titles. However, I didn't need them both. And because I had a bigger back catalogue on Xbox and I also own a PS4 Pro, I decided the PS5 could go. The PS5, to me, great console, but it, it wasn't maybe the next gen experience I was expecting. However, I have no doubt at all that over the time it will evolve. And when it does, or when the Pro, if they do make a Pro, then I'll probably look at getting that or something. But because of the fact that I spend most of my time PC uh, racing, sim racing, I wanted something that I could use casually. Hence how I bought this. Now, we're going to talk about this today because I think in its purest form, as it comes straight out of the box, to me, it would have been no, no good whatsoever. And in the first few days of owning this, I actually thought to myself, hmm, have I done the right thing here? Not so much have I done the right thing in getting rid of the PS5, but have I done the right thing in buying this? And that's simply because my Steam catalogue is based on sim racing games. I think I have 20 games in the Steam catalogue and 19 of those are sim racing titles. And although you can do sim racing on it, when you've been racing on a wheel for a year, you, or however long I've been doing it now, you don't really want to race on a controller. So to me, it wasn't very good as what it was. And then I obviously watched some videos and the videos I'd watch had show me um, it running on it running Windows off an SD card. So I had a SD card which goes in the bottom of here. I had Windows in there and I'd run it through that. And to me that doesn't work either. That's not a good solution because games don't run great on it in my opinion, even with a fast SD card which is what I had. So I've now set this up as a dual boot machine. The video is not going to be on about how to dual boot it because there's people that can do that very well and I watched a tutorial and found it really easy to do. So now this dual boots into Windows or Steam OS. I have a very small Steam OS um, partition which is only 50 gig and then in the bottom of here I have a 256 gig SD card. So if I want to run more safe stuff off Steam on here I can do but mainly I'm running this off Game Pass. Now, you could say, well, you could just buy something that streams from Game Pass. And I, in my opinion, I know you're putting people that disagree with this as well, but I don't think this, anything streams well. I don't think the streaming services are, that, are good enough. There's too much latency for my liking, and I prefer to have everything to hand on the deck. So, this is why I've now set it up like this. So, I have it dual booted, and I have... It's set up and it's perfect. I have a button here for Steam Deck control. When I click on that and double click it, it opens up something in Steam, which you have to set up separately. And again, I'm not going to through the video. I might put links in the underneath of where you get all this stuff from, but you can have that. And now all the controls on here control anything through Game Pass. And that was important to me to have it this way. So as you can see, this is what I have mine set up to. I don't have any problem with the 800p resolution screen and that's because of the size of the screen. If the screen was bigger then obviously you would see an issue. I have a dock for this and when you dock it and put it through HDMI into my monitor then you can start to see the difference. So what you'd have to do at that point is then play it through um, the monitor and obviously adjust your settings on here and not have it coming through this screen. So. I sort of said now to me it's fine but out of the box it didn't and I think there's a bit of a if you're buying a Steam Deck and you've got loads of Steam games I think you're going to be happy with this more than happy because uh, people say the form factor is really big and it is the form factor isn't um, small is it it's, it's a big thing but I think that if you're if you're going to be happy with playing through your Steam library that's fine if you're happy with playing through Game Pass I, or just playing PC games, I don't think you're going to be. This now responds fantastically because everything's just coming straight off the hard drive. So as you can see, it's loading up here from the hard drive. This is a, a Game Pass game, but it plays faultlessly. 
and like I say it didn't before and the other thing you have to do is mess about the controls never seem to work properly so setting it up this way took me about two and a half hours I'd say and then obviously I downloaded the games and to me this made it brilliant now the, the one great thing for me is on the Steam setup I have emulation station so all I do is swap the SD card out here I've got another SD card and another 256 SD card uh, and that one is full of retro games so it, I turned the whole thing into a retro console hence why to me it was important and that's one of the reasons I went for this it's a bit annoying that I'd never realised the um, screensaver would knock in in the middle of a game I don't think it's done it before so as you can see I hope you can see it in the camera this thing's really really nice it's big and it is a bit bulky and there's some things I don't like about it I don't like these I don't think these pads are the best thing in the world. I do think you need to have a... I definitely think if you need to have a keyboard and mouse, especially if you want to do anything on this, like setting it up like I did. You really do need a keyboard and mouse. So I have a dock attached to this. I picked up a dock in... Amazon had a sale a couple of weeks, a week or so ago, and it was just a two-day sale. I don't know what it was, an anniversary or something. I picked the dock up that, sh that was 40 for 20. So... I looked out there, I got a dock for 20 quid and then I bought a 60% keyboard and mouse which I picked up for 22 quid which is fantastic value with the mouse in money, the keyboard's amazing for the money um, and then you have your nice little setup and then obviously I can then plug this into my monitor if I want to do I don't use it on a monitor, I only did the time I used it on the monitor was for setting it up and that's because it was easier on my eyes but as you can see it's super responsive uh, and on a card I found out it, I had glitchy, I had glitching on the sounds and everything. Now, I haven't experienced that since I set it up like this. <laughs> is this, this isn't for everybody I don't think, but I think for the money, this is, by the way, I should have pointed out, this is the 512 gig version, this is the one there, it's a top tier one if you like, I don't know what the settings are, it comes with a case and uh, they all come with a case I believe 512 gig and it's got this non-reflective screen which I do actually like um, you'll see if I do I've got lights above me and you can see it's very diff it diffuse the light really well you hardly get any bounce back and glare and I can play with this in a brightly lit room without any problems whatsoever so yeah I'm, I'm a fan but I think they should they need to do work and they need to work wind, with windows because if, when people are going to want to dual boot this thing it's a fact it is a total fact, because if you're playing Steam games, you're playing PC games anyway, you're going to want to dual boot this, for the stuff you can't get on Steam, obviously. Um, uh, and I think the integration needs to be better. The other reason I did that, obviously, anti-cheat is a problem on Steam, through, through the Steam Deck, and all, some games won't play because of it. Uh, if you play them through Steam on this, because it's just a PC, for instance, it's fine, it lets you play. It doesn't think you want to cheat the system or whatever. I don't fully understand how anti cheat works, but I know that's what it kind of does. So I'll give you a quick look round it if you've never seen one before. So you've got your D pad here, you've got some stick here, another some stick there, you've got your AXYB buttons, and then you've got your home and capture button as they would be on a Xbox 360 uh, Xbox One controller. You've got your Steam button there. And that on when you're playing Steam comes up with a menu on here. It comes up with Steam as well, but it's coming up with my controller menu, so I can do stuff with my controller. And on this side, it's a quick menu button on normally on Steam, and that allows me to adjust settings such as my battery, whether I want to have it full out or I want to slow it down if I want to have an overlay over the top, all them type of things. You've seen loads of these videos, I'm sure. There is a buttons, two on the top and two on the top there. Now the only thing at the minute is there is no support for these buttons through the device, through the system I'm using, the setup I'm using. I'd imagine it will come at some point, but at the minute it just works like an Xbox One controller, like I said. And that's what it simulates it as. Well, it actually simulates it as an Xbox 360 controller, which is how Windows sees an Xbox One controller. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to, it isn't going to be a video that says go out and buy a Steam Deck because I think it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, for me it's now fine but I'll be honest with you after two days I did think about putting it back up for sale. Um, 
as per this one. So I'll t I got this one and it was a week old and I paid less 499 quid for it. Obviously it should have been 565. I bought it off someone that had had it for one week for exactly the reason they wanted to sell it is the reason that I probably may have done after two days if I hadn't persevered. There is hundreds of videos out there. It's very easy to do and if it does go wrong, Steam actually gives you the software. You can download the Steam operating system directly from Steam. It doesn't cost you anything and it's so easy to put it onto a memory card with a program called Rufus or another pro Any pro you, you need to go watch this anyway. Um, I've been doing stuff like this for years but if you go, you can put it back on straight away and you don't lose anything. So it's a little bit different this, not sim racing video, I've got some sim racing videos coming back up. I've made some adjustments to my rig because I wanted to adjust it so I can film with the head cam and show racing that way. Um, I've been trying to do this for months now and I keep getting broke off doing other stuff but uh, I need to concentrate and spend a bit of time and get to the point where that's what I spend my time doing. So I can get some more videos up on the sim racing stuff. But for now uh, this is Steam Digger. If you want to know anything, hit me up in the comments. I'll try and answer as honestly as I can and I will be truthful with you and tell you things that are good and things that are bad. And anything else you want to know, as I say, hit me up in the comments and let me know. But, first two weeks of owning it, it's been a good experience. So, thank you very much for watching.